welcome back. It's like I've never been away. This is the recipe for savory schnapps. One of many of these guides I'm doing, and I'm only doing two or three of them because uh, they've been covered extensively by ESO and other paid YouTubers, lucky bastards. So how you make it is basically you select the wine. Sometimes it's white, sometimes it's red, and it's red today, fantastic. Any wine will do. Then you have to get your ingredients, which you can collect or buy next door. So pop in one nettle, put that in, and then you want to fire up your bellows. And then very quickly, R2 to select the sand glass. So it's L1 for the bellows, and then straight away R2 for the sand glass. Wait for the fire to die down, and it will. Have a quick look around because it's pretty cool. This fire it up again for a second time. Again, select sand glass. So that's two heatings of the nettle juice. Bring out the flavour like a nice cup of tea. This nettle is drank like tea, believe it or not. And then some belladonna. Nasty stuff. And you want to crush two parts of belladonna. There we go, there's two lots of it. And then you want to crush it with the mortar. This is still used in kitchens in around the world. I used to be a chef, so I'm very good at mixing stuff. Crushing garlic and pesto. That's what you use it for. Making aioli and stuff like that. Which is garlic and potato mayonnaise with saffron. And very nice. But it's good with fish. There we go, pop that in. Right, once your crushed stuff is in there, fire up the bellows. One final turn. Wait for the sand to drop down and the fire to die. There we go, a very fun way to level up alchemy. And gotta admit, this is pretty cool. I like Skyrim's creation of uh, medicines, but this is more hands on. And it's a hell of a lot more fun. There we go. That's it. Savory schnapps. Well, I hope that helps you. I'll catch you next time with another video. Thanks for watching.